Hey, this is Corey, uh, the creator of Pegasus, and uh, I wanted to quickly show a preview of the functionality that is going to be shipping in Pegasus soon uh, for uh, subscriptions and, and subscriptions integrated with Stripe. Um, so quick demo. So this is, this is your pricing page, um, and you can see it's got these two options. You can do annual pricing, and you can see the prices are, are changing here. Um, you can also have monthly pricing. Prices go up a little bit. This credit card form, um, and I'm just going to show how this, how you set this up, and and how this works. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to do is is I've set up these plans in Stripe, um, and so this is under Stripe billing. You create a product for for each of your pricing plans. So in my case, I have three. I have premium, standard, and starter. And inside each of these, um, I've created two pricing plans, one for annual and one for monthly. Um, and so you can see those there. And I've, I've done the same thing for, for all three of these plans. Uh, so I created these three plans. Um, and then in my Pegasus settings, um, I basically just say, uh, okay, here are the active products that, that I want to use. And I've, I've put in these plan IDs. Um, <clears throat> that I created into here, and I've also added some additional metadata. Um, so you could you can sync this automatically from Stripe, or you can uh, some of these things don't exist in Stripe, and so you configure them here. And this text here uh, that you see is mapping to uh, the text that you see here. And so if I want to, um, for example, let's say uh, I, I don't want to offer the standard the starter plan anymore. I, I I've been listening to to microconf talks and and everybody tells me that I shouldn't I shouldn't charge anything less than than what is it thirty dollars a month so I, I just want to get rid of the the starter plan um, and uh, maybe for standard instead of saying for small businesses and teams I'll say for most businesses and teams and I'm going to increase the capacity to a thousand widgets so I'll just change those things and. Um, refresh the page and you can see that that pricing plan disappeared um, and now I just have standard and premium. Um, I can also change the default if I want. Um, so if I want to make premium the default I can do that. Refresh the page and now premium will stay selected. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's basically how that works um, and I'm just going to bring that back. I'll make standard the default again. Um, the other thing you can do is if you don't want, uh, let's say you don't care about annual pricing, you can just ignore that um, and and remove this active plan interval. Now we'll only have monthly pricing, and so you'll see when I refresh the page, um, this selector will disappear, the annual pricing will disappear, and now um, all we see is monthly pricing. Um, so there's quite a lot that you can config. All of these... Um, Prices and stuff are being pulled directly from Stripe. So if you've set up things correctly in Stripe, then then that will just be synced automatically uh, or or um, manually uh, to your accounts. Um, and now, if I enter a test card number um, and I upgrade, you can see. Uh, Uh, yeah, so now you can see I've successfully updated to standard. Um, it'll say my subscription level. It will say the price that I paid, the auto renewal date, and this is now also um, all set up in Stripe. So if I go back to here, uh, you should be able to see in a moment. Uh, yeah, you can't. <laughs> I was doing a lot of testing yesterday, so you, you can barely see that thirty dollar spike. Um, but the, the thirty dollar spike was was created. Um, and if I now in the Django admin look here, you can see um, this user account that I've been that I was logged in with is now associated with a customer and a subscription object. Um, I can search in Stripe for the subscription object, and you can see. Yeah, so just now, March 12th, this subscription was created. The invoice was paid. Um, I can go look in here at the subscription objects, or the payment object, rather. Um, 
yeah, this succeeded. And uh, and this this will set up everything to auto renew, um, all that good stuff. The other thing uh, you can see here is um, sort of just very very basic examples of to get you started with sort of feature gating. Um, and so this subscription demo uh, is now saying, you know, you're subscribed to standard plan, hooray. Uh, and so it's just enough to get you going uh, in terms of adding uh, these different levels of, of plans to your site, different features, um, everything like that. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, this should be coming out very soon and uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it, looking to get feedback. Um, you can hit me up uh, if you would like, my email address, uh, Corey at sasspegasus.com is right here. Um, if you're interested in trying this out, I'd love to get feedback, uh, before the, the release goes live. Uh, and yeah, thanks. That's, uh, subscriptions and Pegasus.